Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 10 of Data Life today. So in this last episode we got a lot of explanations about Kurumi's power and that was really impressive. I was not expecting her to actually have a lot of um, versions of herself and being able to control them as well. And yeah, apparently they are all versions from different times. So the one we saw talking with Shido at the start uh, or when they were at the rooftop in the starting moments was actually like a, a younger self of her. So that was interesting to know and it was a bit creepy to see how she actually killed her and then when she got, uh, like when her arm got cut, uh, she just shot herself in the head and made time go back or something. So she returned to the time when she still had the arm intact. Uh, so yeah, there's still like some things that I probably need to learn and even though we could uh, like uh, see a lot of her power being used, she was um, like some things, like she had this big clock uh, on her back and she was uh, apparently using each of those numbers to give a specific power to her guns or something and with that she was able to create some pretty cool moves. So that was all really interesting to see and uh, it was still a really scary situation because uh, Shido was trying to stop her but she uh, like he was not being really effective. Uh, so yeah, I really want to see how this situation is going to end, uh, mostly because we saw also a really big revelation by the end and I'm still not sure but I believe that Kotori is apparently a spirit. Uh, then again I'm still not sure because we just saw this version of her and she had uh, something similar to a, an astral, a, a astral dress. Uh, so yeah, I really want that to be explained in this episode. We are probably going to see some more things revealed in this one. So I hope you guys are ready and let's start it. This looks so cool though. And lots of Kurumis. This was a big surprise. Damn. That power though. Kurumi might be one of the strongest spirits. Well. Hmm. Good question. Actually, something that I'm wondering about, like, if they figure the way to... Like, have spirit powers on humans, like uh, Kotori, I don't know, I don't know if she was already a spirit to begin with, but yeah. She's really cute though. But yeah, this is escalating a lot. But I like that they're slowly explaining everything. I love this part of the opening. Also, this season is almost over, so... Wonder how they're going to end it. I'm also going to... Um, watch the UVA right after. I don't know if each season has one, but... I know that this one has. I also wonder when we are going to learn more about Shido. Yeah, this is kind of a creepy way to do things though. She needs like to shoot herself to do these moves. I like Rumi, but they need to stop her.
Yeah, those bullets are dangerous. Ooh, he saw Tyler under. Oh, damn. Only... That was a sick move, but... She's really strong. But I don't think that's over. Damn. Oh, look at that. Ceiling. Just like that. She's probably special. Um, what? Oh. M. Yeah, I want to know that as well. Oh. There's probably a limit to how many times she can use his power. Because we learned about how she needed the lifespan of other people. Oh, oh, she's going to use it. Going to block it. Damn, that's a big cannon. That all on the clock, though. She's strong. I'm both of them. I don't want neither of you to die, though. Hopefully she does stop this. Yeah. It's a bit different now though. Damn that look on her face though. She needs to stop it. Oh. She still fired it. She realized at the end, but... It's too late. Hmm. Oh my god, <laughs> she's so cute. Hell of you, Ashido. Okay, is also there. She probably stayed there the whole time. Well, probably almost died. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, what happened to Kurumi? Yeah, all of them. Um. <laughs> Just feeling the opai to calm him down. <laughs> nice. There's state though. And we just learned about mana. Not having too much time left because of what they did were. Damn. Really nice of her. Well. Hmm. Hopefully we'll get some explanations. Exactly. Asking the right questions. Well, she is. Yeah. Yeah. Tension, though. Wait, they can ear. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait. Yeah. Not too sure, but I have like a random theory about this. Oh, yeah, it's the memory you saw before. It's when she like awoke those powers or? Hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering about. Related to the space quakes. Hmm. Yeah.
So that's why. Shido Kisser. Oh. So you kissed your own little scissor? So I'm wondering th if that's actually what happened. I still don't know why though, why he's able to do it. Oh! So she's the one who was healing him. Um, all right then. Hmm. She wasn't herself. Yeah. That's scary. Hmm. Oh, um, he's going to kiss. Oh, he's going to have to do the whole process with her. Hmm. That was really interesting. Oh. Yeah, he has a lot on his head right now. But having to date... Oh... He needs to do it first then. She will be a spirit forever. Hmm... So he's going to have to do it. With his own little scissor, so that's a bit... yeah. I guess the situation is special. Oh, there's a bitchy. I was just about to say, oh, so, so nice to see Tobichi worrying about Toka. And then she was pissed that she was okay. <laughs> Don't be so mean, Tobichi. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's hard to check on everyone. I love Tobichi, but yeah, that was a bit mean. <laughs> One thing Toka to not be okay. Oh damn, she's not okay herself.
She's totally faking it. <laughs> oh my god. No, she wants you to grab, uh, to, to grab her. Sure. I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um all right then getting a feel of those opies quite frequently in this episode it's so bitchy though <laughs> the things she does to have she does attention Um, what exactly was happening? Oh, oh my god, you're going to be your slave now. <laughs> she can, but she doesn't want. Sure, extending an arm is such a big exercise. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so witchy. Um, Alright then. Escalating a bit. <laughs> that totally didn't look wrong. Sure. It's becoming a bit extreme. Only... Um... Alright then. Yeah, quite the experience. Oh. Hmm... Oh, he's probably not going to tell, right? Not too sure, though. He shouldn't tell, though. At least not for now. Yeah. It's important that she doesn't know. Holy, don't tell me. I had the idea it was Toka, but that's just because she was a spirit. So Kotori was the one who did it. Damn. This is really big. Ifrit. Hmm. Damn, this, this just became really, really interesting. And I mean, it already was, but this revelation right now was really, really big. Because I, I had the idea that Tobichi was targeting these spirits because of what happened to her parents. But I actually saw that it was Toka who did it. But apparently she was just targeting Toka because she's a spirit and she blames these spirits for what happened. But it wasn't actually her who did it to her parents. So it was Kotori. And that's really big because she basically wants to kill uh, Shido's little sister. So that's... Quite something. But I'm still not sure because she mentioned, or at least Mana said, I'm not too sure. But didn't she say that Kotori wasn't his real sister? So I'm not too sure. But it's something that I want to know. 
something that I'm actually thinking right now, and like she did mention that she appeared before his eyes before when she got the spirit powers. So was that the first time they met? Not too sure. All right, this is probably the preview. I see some opi, but that's about it. Um. Quite curious to see what exactly is going to happen, but we'll see. Either way, I was thinking about the situation. I'm not too sure. It's something that I need to probably need to rewatch this episode or at least that scene when um, Kotori was explaining some things. Because she did mention that she got the spirit powers. She was human to start with. But I don't know if she was indeed uh, Shido's uh, real little sister and if she was there all the time. Or if she appeared before his eyes in that, uh, like in his house. Uh, when everything was burned, uh, but yeah, it's something that I really need to um, to be clarified, and probably these uh, like next episodes are going to say something else about it. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, either way, it was really nice to get some explanations about this whole situation and to learn that um, uh, Kotori, uh, at least she believes that she was a human and she got his spirit powers, and that really made me wonder about something else, like um, how like this um, this is possible. And I was thinking about the space quakes, and I'm not too sure, it's just like a random guess, but I don't know if, um, like, the place where these space quakes happen, if uh, some humans are chosen, and, like, uh, something places these uh, spirit powers on them. I don't know if it's exactly what happens, but, like, um, imagine, like, this space quake happens, and we know that, uh, I don't remember how many people died in the... Um, in the first episode, they mentioned that uh, a certain amount of people died. It was a, a, a lot of millions, but I'm not too sure of the amount, like 150 million. I'm not too exactly sure, but either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I sh I'm just curious if um, like those people were actually sent to somewhere else and if they didn't really die. Uh, it's like, uh, we know that there is a different world from where the spirits come, and when the space quake happens, it's basically the... Um, the transition f uh, to each world or something, I'm not too sure, but it's definitely when these spirits show up. Uh, but yeah, there's still a lot more that I need to um, to understand about these space quakes, but it's something that I was wondering, like, if um, if this girl was uh, picked to, to get spirit powers, and then she got sent to this world again, and she appeared before Shido's eye, uh, eyes, and, like, she was there, and that means that uh, she would really not be his real sister. It's uh, the thing I'm, like, uh, the least sure about right now, like, if she's really his sister or, or not, uh, since Mana was, uh, like, mentioning that Mana is the real sister and not Kotori. Uh, so, yeah, either way, it's just something that I'm probably going to be clarified at some point. And right now, I'm really curious about the situation. Uh, with uh, Tobichi because she's going to be targeting uh, Kotori since she was the cause uh, for her parents death So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens and as I said, it's good that um, Shido didn't let her know that it was actually Kotori because she would just instantly target her and that would be really bad because uh, He has only two days uh, to be able to um, to date uh, Kotori and um, make her fall in love with him and then uh, do the kissing and seal her powers. And I was really, like, uh, wondering about it uh, as well, because if they are, like, brothers, it would be a bit weird. I mean, him dating his own little sister, that would be a bit weird, but, I mean, what's done, uh, wh what needs to be done uh, needs to be done or something. I'm not too sure of what's the right way to say it. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens, and it's always really funny to see these moments with uh, Tobichi and how she does everything she can uh, to try and make Shido uh, be with her, and like to the point of almost making him her slave, and that last moment was really, really lewd, but yeah, that's um, something uh, that's probably going to be, be happening uh, quite sometimes during this anime. We can see that there's a, a bit of fan service, but not nothing that... Um, uh, bothers me at all. I really something that I actually enjoy as long as it's not like um, all the time, I guess. Uh, but yeah, either way, really interested on this uh, this anime. It's been really awesome to get to know uh, these characters a lot more and to understand the story a, a bit more as well. 
and it was nice to see uh, at the start um, there was this really cool move from Kurumi uh, when she basically stopped time um, uh, around uh, uh, Kotori I believe and then she used the uh, other bodies uh, to fire at her so that was a really cool move even though it was really bad to see what was happening to Kotori of course but in the end that didn't really do much because she was still alive uh, so yeah it was really awesome to see that whole fight and it ended with um, like no one dying so that was at least a good thing and then we also learned about um, something um, with Kurumi and I was thinking uh, like I was thinking about this before and Kotori was basically using this power and using this cannon against Kotori and she actually destroyed that thing on the back of um, of Kurumi, basically that big clock. So it's something that uh, I'm still not sure about how it works. Like uh, we could see her using a lot of these skills, getting all of these uh, different powers to her guns and doing these different moves, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, it's something that I still don't really understand, like this power. I'm pretty sure that there's a limit to how much she can use it, because, I mean, if she could use it whenever she wanted, that would be pretty broken. I mean, she's literally controlling time. Uh, so yeah, this probably goes back to when she uh, said that um, she needs to get the lifespan of other people, that's why she was killing some people before, uh, because she needs it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, still something that I probably, I probably still need to understand a bit better after... And right now I'm just um, trying to enjoy it and to understand as much as possible. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Either way, it's definitely going to be interesting to see these final two episodes of this season. Uh, I'm not too sure of how they're going to end it. Uh, it's um, like, um, I don't know if Tobichi is going to learn about Kotori in this uh, season or not. Uh, it's something that uh, would need to happen fast because there's only two episodes. But yeah, right now, really interested on these next episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. So take care, guys.